Um, Rousey's, we start with Filthy. He looked like he left a little early and had a bit of a, a quad sort of looking like something was going on during the week. Are you okay? Yeah, no, he's fine. I think he pretty much trained all, all session uh, today. So, no, just a little management thing with Riley. Want him to keep playing. He's had the week off. So, uh, yeah, keep him going. And we saw uh, Will Hamill sort of cut the knock and was out of the full ground drill for a bit again. He's yeah, no. Fine. No, he's fine. Yeah, Will, Will's pushing to play forward. So, <laughs> he's, uh, he's, he's fine. Yeah, he snapped some goals late. So, I think he's, he's right to go. No, yeah, he's a bit of a joke with me. You'll see him uh, when you see him training. He has some long shots on goal and then looks over to me. But, um, no, he'll uh, he'll play down the back line and keep using the ball well. Do you have many players, you know, trying to get a there's a bit of a joke going around that they want to sneak up there, which is <laughs> I'm fine with. I'll probably play up to it a little bit, but it's all, all, good, and all good fun. I want him to kick some goals. Rocky Schultz in the mix? Or yeah, yeah. Up? well, he, he obviously didn't play, did he, as that medical sub, so he's fresh. Um, he had a really good game at Marvel against against North, so to get his run there, there'd definitely be an opportunity for him, yeah. Was it more about, I guess, was it part of his ambition, was part of form, was it also um, giving him the opportunity yeah, definitely a little bit of both. We've got obviously we've got a young team, and we have to discuss those decisions at match committee. And would have been great for Lockie to come on, or if if needed, if the opportunity was there with it, with his run. But um, yeah, he's had a week off now, so we'll, we'll definitely discuss him at match committee. And Luke Brown. Luke Brown, yeah, he's, he'll he'll most likely come back in the team or be up for selection. So he trained fully. Looks like he's over that little Achilles he's had. So yeah. How big a boost is that? I mean, he's. Probably the most you know, unheralded small defender going around. He's a senior head. What does he bring when he comes back? Yeah, well, definitely that, that that leadership down back, which, which which is needed. But we've got a player in Eddie Betts that might be playing too. That um, I'm sure Brownie's played on a few times. So it'd be interesting to see if, if that's if that's the case. Simple work into the whole list, uh, Rob. Um, <laughs> head of shoulder maybe a little bit against the Saints and in the light duties today, but he's all right. Isn't he? Yeah, no, he's fine. Yeah, just being careful of it. A little bit of a knock. Um, I think he was hitting with his other hand, but um, no, he'll be fine by later in the week. For sure. how, are you, how are you finding? You say you want to to kick more goals. Where, where do you think your forward group's at? Um, yeah, not too bad. Um, that's probably more, me more having a joke with the half-backs to, to get up the ground and score and the midfielders. But um, yeah, they're going OK. Um, obviously, early in the St Kilda game probably wasn't where we needed, but that was more around our contest. Um, we, are, we have to be a contested team up, up forward and we've done that pretty well, but we need to find a way to score some easier goals, take a few more uncontested marks. So that's what we're working on. Do you feel like you found, I guess, the, the right mix at the moment with the forward six or seven? I think there hasn't been too many changes outside of injury in recent weeks. No, we're, in saying that, we're pretty keen to get the big fellas in, like Elliot Himmelberg and Billy Frampton, with their opportunities in the sample, can't do much more. So we are looking at ways to get them in. Um, we probably the, the, the smalls have got are still developing in the sample, but um, we don't want to be too tall. Um, so yeah, you're right. It's trying to get that right balance. Two spots that they take. Yeah, well that's right. Well, Tex, I, I think well documented, he's in pretty good form. I think Riley deserves to hold his spot, and obviously um, really important to the win last week. And then Fogg's playing a really important role for us as well. So. It is difficult. It's, it's good discussions to have because I think Billy and Elliot are still playing pretty good footy with the opportunities they're getting at Sample. Does it feel the most settled you've been then, Russ? Like when you talk about those three guys, I mean, they, they sort of seem like the three that would naturally be the big three at some point. Does that feel like you've settled up for? Yeah, for, for the moment, but you know, I don't, yeah, they've got to keep, um, keep presenting and keep playing good footy. Uh, but at the moment, it is good to feel pretty settled, and as long as they can um, keep going with their form, we'll, we'll stay that way. Um, yeah, I think I think it. Um, from my point of view, I, I'm really just focusing on getting Tex to continue to play week in, week out. Um, if he keeps going, you can see him playing for for a couple more years. But yeah, I think he's focused on this week and and yeah, just working through the year. And he's just loving his footy, loving his footy um, with all these young guys around him. So it's it's been good to be a part of. No. Like no, I think he was already, like from what I saw coming in, he was ready to go when I got here. Um, just the off-season he had and then, then followed up with a good pre-season. There's a few things we've worked on together. I, you know, we've worked pretty closely on his contested game. Um, I thought because we're a young side, we're not always going to have the ball moving beautifully to the forward. So he's worked really hard in, on that part of his game and I think that's shown. Um, 
he's a leading player, but he's not getting many marks on the lead. A lot of his marks are from contests and winning contests. So that's what I've been proud to see how he's uh, played this year. What sort of conversations did you have with him when, when you arrived? Did he outline areas that he wanted to improve in? Or, or yeah, I guess how's that relationship between you two? Um, I probably watched a fair bit of his footy and, and knew him from afar. Um, obviously a very hard player to play on. And, I gave him a few things where I think he could work on his game and we're on the same page with it. So then it was working on that and then bringing the young guys along with it, um, Fogg and Riley and Elliot and Billy, and they've all done it together. So it's been great. How soon do you expect an announcement on his, on his future? Uh, yeah, asking the wrong guy there. I've got no idea. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm, they're in discussions from what I know. Um, the SA government have announced that people from Greater Melbourne can come back in and out of the state. I mean, given that you're going there, is it a relief knowing that, in theory, you're going there to play and come home as normal? There are no sort of restrictions, sort of like Geelong and Collingwood face here. Is that a relief for you and the guys? Yeah, I think so. I think um, I think we've still got to wait and hear if that's ticked off or is it as ticked of off? Friday, yeah, as a yeah. Friday, yeah. Friday. But we'll uh, yeah. wait here if we still fly in, fly out in the same day. Um, obviously, it'd be great if we didn't have to, but we'll do whatever we need to to do um, to keep the game going. How do you I just think last year was the young guys are probably having experience is, is something we need to work through and the development guys are working on it through um, with those young guys but we're sort of used to it from last year I think everyone's trained up pretty well from from last year and uh, this year's been a lot easier really in a lot of aspects what do you make what do you expect from Carlton they've been sort of knocked around a little bit this week what do you expect from them yeah, we've just watched a bit of them and, and they've still got so many threats. Like I'm, I'm looking at their defenders who are intercept marking defenders and then you've got um, the Sard and Williams who can really break lines off there. Their midfield is quite strong. When the midfield gets on top, they, they score a lot as well. So it is documented that they have been in games, all games as well. So And even GWS on the weekend, they got very close. So they've got a lot of threats that we've got to be, uh, be aware of. What do you make of the talk that if you guys beat could be last, uh, last game for the yeah, no, I haven't really looked look into that at, at all. But uh, I think we'll just focus focus on us because we're still fighting to get be relevant in the competition and get that respect as well. So we're sort of focusing on us with that. Is top eight still a goal rub? Um, it really hasn't been spoken about. Um, it's sort of more our brand. Nixie's really pushing what we want to be about, um, and I'm, I'm hope the supporters and members see how we're trying to play and, and play every week. And I think, similar to Carton, we feel like we've been in most games, most weeks. Um, so, yeah, hopefully we can continue to that and see, see what happens at the end of the year. So do you think those top eight and nine might be settled at the moment? Do you think, that, do you, think you guys can um, break into that? Um, yeah, again, it's probably nothing we've focused on too much. It's, it's, it's more about how we want to play. And, uh, yeah, we'll just see how we end up. The slow start, how do you see that? Yeah, definitely in the contest. I reckon we haven't been as sharp around the contest, which has made a few of our players panic with the ball and probably haven't used the ball and controlled the game. And that's what we're working on for uh, four quarters, really. Um, that ability to, to own the ball and own the game a little bit more um, at stages, and that's definitely a growth area for us. So the team sort of come off the buy and get jumped, and if it can work you know, different ways for different sides, how do you feel the boys will respond? Yeah, that, I think that's right. Training was sort of started a bit... Um, more contested early in training and, and get going. So hopefully that, that um, comes to fruition in the first quarter. Because, yeah, our, our start against Collingwood and St Kilda wasn't probably at the level, so it has been a bit of a focus. And just more broadly, I mean, the David McKay took up all the airspace last week, but, I mean, you, having spent years at Geelong and, and seen some of the great contested players go about it, is there, again, just a sense of relief that players can go at the ball and contest the footy and... and not pay the price for doing that? Yeah, no, no doubt. And I think with Dave, like, he's just such a fair player and um, get, you still want the, the player to be, go, be able to go at the footy and, and attack the footy. So, yeah, it's, it's a, a bit of relief and uh, we're just glad that Dave's playing this week.